Good morning, freediving family. It is another day in what I think is the best tropical paradise that I have ever been to. This is Cocos Keeling Islands, a little atoll in the middle of the Indian Ocean, though it is part of Australia. Well, Australia owns it as such. And uh, today we are starting the day with some kiteboarding. And uh, you can watch me absolutely destroy myself and fall over if you like. I start by learning about the wind window and about kiting in general and then Jen takes me out to fly the kite. Now anyone that ever thought, and this includes myself, that kiting would be easy, it's not easy. It's hard. It's a really big kite. It's really powerful and all it wants to do is pull you over. But you know, it wasn't very long until, ah, uh, you know, I was just kiting around, jumping around. This is actually me. I know it looks like it's other people, but no, it's actually me. He'll be a kite surfer. <laughs> what is going on in the Zephyr kitchen this morning? Breakfast of champions. Breakfast of champions indeed. That's right. Although I'm surprised that Ben isn't in there cooking because I've been told he's a world class chef. Yeah, yeah I can't. I start cooking and expect it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so much energy goes into my cooking. So and I love too, I bet. Lots of love. Lots of, lots of body fluid. <laughs> if I ever was a schizophrenic, I would try and hide the fact by creating a vlog. Yeah, 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 me, 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 me too, if I was schizophrenic. <laughs> What's a vlog? What's a vlog? What's schizophrenic? What's schizophrenia? No. We are about to go freediving <laughs> off the front of, uh, I don't know, the West Island, where we go going behind the surf. So apparently there's a lot of stuff to see, and we're with the whole Zephyr crew in the Zephyr Troopy, and, um... <laughs> <laughs> and we almost came off the road and there you go that's what we're doing so this is uh called the shack for obvious reasons and that's where we're gonna go out diving we swam out under the waves which is always good fun and then we came to these cool little channels on the way out now most of the guys free diving here had only learned to dive a few days ago so that just shows you what your body can do as we swam out the water cleared up and we came across this beautiful big manta it was just swimming along and doing its thing i went down to swim with it but as soon as i got down there i got the feeling that it didn't really want me around so i just went back up as we kept swimming out the water cleared up and the reef was just phenomenal we honestly didn't expect it because we thought we were just going to go for a little swim and see what was behind a popular surf break in the area but there was just life everywhere it was really really beautiful and healthy the thing that surprised me the most was the turtles i don't know where they came from i don't know what they were doing but there were turtles everywhere turtle another turtle oh and there's another turtle turtles everywhere Literally the most turtles I've ever seen on any dive in my life. They seemed pretty calm with us. They didn't mind if we swam along with them, but they didn't let us get too close. But then again, we weren't in a touristy area at all. So these turtles probably have never seen people before. For whatever reason, they seemed to find the camera really attractive. And every time we went down there with the camera, they would come and swim up to it. This turtle actually is a tiny, tiny little baby. You can't tell by this shot, but it's actually tiny. Really, really cute. And of course, it wouldn't be a dive in Cocos Keeling Islands without a reef shark or two just swimming around checking us out. All right, Uncle Johnny is gonna teach us how to open a coconut. By no means am I an expert coconut opener, uh, Uncle Johnny is an expert coconut opener. Yes. All right, what are we doing? Talk us through it, Johnny. So, I'm just trying to basically chop the end off the coconut. That's... That's a very descriptive um, explanation, thank you. Yeah, but you don't need much more than that. It's what are we doing? just got to do and don't think too much. <laughs> oh, there we go, that bit of spillage. Um, it's not as beautiful as you know, the other guys will get it, but 
there's some golden juice in there that's looking awesome Ooh, beautiful. now a good tip that i mean these are great full of electrolytes i love drinking these as is but with a little bit of that this there's no product placement this is just what there was <laughs> that works really well I love, <laughs> I love how you have to stipulate that there was no product placement because because we we got the bacardi sponsor while, while yeah. you weren't looking <laughs> there we go, that should be a good island experience. <laughs> so that is, that's the Australian customs boat out here at uh, Cocos Island in the middle of the Indian Ocean. Just down there, there is an illegal, we're assuming it's like an illegal boat that's come up and it's gotten, they've gotten stuck on the reef. And so the customs boats come up to, I don't know, Stop them, arrest them, other things, I don't know. But there's, there's things going on on the island. So you can see here, just out in front of the ship, that's where uh, some like Australian border police patrol kind of people. I don't know what they are, what are they? Yeah. Australian border police, there you go. No one on it. No one on it. When did it come in here? Up. That's what we woke up to this morning in Cocos. It's possible that it's a random boat. It's also possible that maybe one or two people were on it. As far as a whole lot of people, you'd expect to see some sort of debris or carnage or you know at least a floating body. But you know, it, it's definitely landed on the wrong side of the island, and it had two anchor chains hanging out the front of it. There's a few things that make you think, you know, pretty odd that it's drifted out here in the middle of nowhere and ended up on the, how would you say, the lee side of the island. You know, you'd certainly expect it on the, on the, uh, what do you call it, the east side of the island for sure, where all the current and the trade winds hit, but to be on the west side of the island, you know, that's it, interesting. Well, because it, I suppose it, it, it means that someone probably drove it onto the reef. Possibly. It, it could just be that this boat was just floating out in the middle of the ocean and just so happened to wash up on the island. It's just like, you know, there was a big fuss today with the Border Patrol and the big boat you saw before the Ocean Defender. So yeah. we're throwing out throwing out conspiracy theories yeah oh, but, if, uh, if you want me to make shit up i can make shit up like i don't feel safe anymore on my own island <laughs> you know, i do because i don't think gen generally refugees are quite nice people aren't they they're not yeah refugees are the great people they're not <laughs> they're just refugees they're refugees yeah <laughs> true so basically what we know about the boat is that um it could have been a fishing vessel it could have been a refugee boat we don't really know. It's the first boat that's actually washed up or arrived at Cocos Islands in two years. Uh, usually the boats, they used to come from Sri Lanka. So, um, but yeah, so basically we're not really certain what it was. I mean, what we were worried about was that we were gonna get down there and there was gonna be like a ton of refugees that are drowned in the water or something along those lines, you know, because for the most part, uh, like the refugees that come into this part of the world, they can't swim. So if the boat reefs itself, then that they drown so that that's what we're all worried about because that would have been that would have been a horrible horrible thing to happen but uh so far no no bodies no no real signs of anything so it's a little bit of a mystery uh, as to what happened what i'm really trying to say is that it's a ghost ship yeah. oh yeah then um our brave and fearless leader where are we off to to Kite Beach. Kite Beach. Because we are going camping. Ben's not coming. Ben's staying home to move things. No one invite me. <laughs> Fill up the boat with supplies so we can take it out to that island. How did I escape this work? And here's our little campsite. I think I've got the prime prime spot. The view straight out the beach. 
I disagree. I think that's the prime spot there with some excavated sand. Excavated? Es ex ex excavated. I excavated sand. Wait, Tad, can you give me the board so I can excavate my thing? <laughs> Yeah, you wake up like I that. know. Uh, it turns out I don't know how to set up a tent. And I don't know how to excavate my little lawn. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Andy doesn't know what she's doing either. <laughs> We're about to go fishing and catch dinner. So this is a ghost crab and it goes, the cork, it's like a corkscrew. Yeah. So it should be probably around here somewhere but down. It's just hard to find there. So we're, we're getting the crabs for bait to fish with. Oh, oh. hello, we got a crab. Oh, there she is. What are we doing? Ah! Yes! <laughs> Go on. Stay there. Yep, now get off. Yep. Good job. Cool bananas. And ready. Oh. Well, we want to kill it. Kills quick. We want to kill it quick. That's it. Dead. Bang. Yep. There you go. One ghost crab. One ghost crab. There's your whoop. Stop. Skills. Skills. All right, now we're killing it quick. Boom. All right, All right. let's go get dinner. fish there for dinner. Well you always have to have good vegetables with every meal. That's true you do. So we've got a whole heap of stir fry veggies to have with our fresh fish. What do you call it? Corbin. A little cheeky glass of red wine to go with dinner. Mate, ah, we are all class. All class here. Yeah. So we've ended up deep frying those little fish that we just caught and it is tasty like you can even chew on the head. Mm. Crunchy, crunchy fish head. Yum. <laughs> oh, so now we got a laksa coming up. Oh, in goes the fish. Oh my god, I cannot believe there is one so big what? and so beautiful. Ah! That is a monster These hermit are the crab. Ones. That is such a huge hermit crab. You watch him come out. He was eating this coconut. Oh. Hello, you big, beautiful hermit crab. That's the size of this hermit crab. Hello, come crawl on Jen's hand. Have a little crawl on Jen's hand. No, I don't want to. I don't want to crawl on Jen's hand. My hand. So we just woke up from camping and I slept so, so, so well. And we're just um, in here getting brekkie ready. Andy's making some eggs. Oh, eggs! And uh, we are going to go and um, there's a little area nearby where we're staying, well, where we just spent the night, where there's a lot of seagrass and apparently there's just turtles everywhere. So we're going to go have a look at that. Turtles ahoy! So it looks like there are no turtles today. Where are the turtles? <laughs> Andy, the best actor there is. The best acting! Where are the turtles? Where are the turtles? <laughs> oh my god! Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you are subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that notification button. So that lets you know when I put up a new video because I don't want you to miss out on my fun little adventures where I uh, fail in doing exactly what I'm trying to do. Fail, fail. But anyway, I'll see you in the water somewhere. Make sure you check this video out because I think you'll like it. Otherwise, this is the most recent video that I've posted to my channel.